Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the Pucker Pickers After Show. I'm just going to talk briefly about the fines from yesterday and the value and what we paid. So, off we go. We've got this lovely little item, which is a Bakelite bowl. What's great about it is it's speckled design, which is unusual and quite desirable. It's Art Deco style, which is a seller as well. Dates from the 1930s, we paid £6. I'm expecting to get around £40 to £50 for that. So that's a good buy. Uh, this I've always already featured in a short, which is yet to be posted. This is a lovely Bohemian glass vase made of crystal, and it's called Red Rose, a design with a frosted surrounding. It's top quality, it's very, very heavy. It's cost us £20 and it's worth around £160 from the ones I've seen online doing my research. So that's a cracking buy, we're really pleased with that. You can look at, look at that there, yeah, fantastic. Very pleased with that. I've got this little boy here, which is a, a German figure, although it's not marked underneath. It's got a serial number, which is a sign, it's probably continental, but I reckon it's German because I've seen similar marks before. We have the ace of the foot rim, which is another thing you always, should always book in for. You can see that, I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah, that's better. You can see it now. That's your foot rim, so it's dark and dirty, which is a good sign. It is 1930s, uh, it's hand painted. I think I paid around 7 50 for that. Now, that is worth 40 to 60 pounds. It's a desirable object, it's quite cute. I've not seen anything like it. Uh, on online, but I'm quite pleased we've got a little pony there though. So, yeah, nice little objects, forty to sixty pounds. This one, I get, well, this one we talked about on the show yesterday, I think, in the video. This is a gaudy Welsh character jug with uh, a bearded man's face, which is I think they call Bauhaus, and it's decorated in green and purple glazes and cobalt blue. Uh, it's got like a lustre finish on the on the purple. This particular jug dates from 1840. I've looked online and done my research. I did, I think, said in the video that yesterday that we did that it's going to be like 1820s, 1840s, so it's spot on. And the, the way you, how you can tell is because of the material it's made of, which is called soft paste pottery. And again, you look underneath at the foot rim. It's not as warm as it should be, really, for something that old, but it's, it's got a, a decent amount of weight to it. You can see it there now. And it's unmarked, but what, you, what you'll find with things like this is they quite often are unmarked. But don't be put off. The giveaway signs are, obviously, the design, because it's got a Georgian look about it, and the material, soft paste. Soft paste was before hard paste. Hard paste came later, uh, which... I'll, I'll show you in another show perhaps because I've got no examples at the moment but then again it's, it's hand decorated very very nice it does have a hairline which affects its value slightly but not as much as it would normally because of its age and its rarity so we paid four pounds for that this is worth in this condition I'm going to say 30 to 40 pounds had it been in slightly better condition probably 65 but again, it's still a nice find, and I'm glad we've rescued it, because it's quite rare, and somebody will want that for the collection. It's a milk jug, by the way, so, yeah, nice thing. Then, what else have we got? This, this is porcelain, this, and it's an elephant, and it's really, really nice quality, and it's got a lot of detail, as you can see. There, the detail on the animal itself, and it's got the... Uh, maker's badge underneath which is John Jenkins who's uh, a very very well known yeah. designer of porcelain and crystal crystal glass that is so this for white elephant was only two pounds but it was an absolute bargain because I've actually sold pieces before different animals not the elephant though for around 30 quid so for two pound 30 quid happy days like I say, it's got great detail, so, and that's another thing to look at, it's quality always shines, so you've got something like this, with incredible detail, it's really nicely sculpted, and uh, like I say, it's got, helps when it's got that underneath as well, of course, but if you see anything like this on your travels, 
let's like say if, if it's got great detail quality always stands out and I always buy things that are quality because you can't go far wrong they'll sell all the time uh, next piece is this this is quite interesting this is what we call an Italian ewer and what was unusual, what I liked about this was it's gold luster gold luster finish which is a lovely lovely sort of pattern hand decorated made in Italy age wise I don't think it's that old when you look at again you look at the foot rim there it's not mega old but what is this good about it it's got your back stamp there that you look at which is a cockerel and Italy on it so it's what do we pay for that I think it was seven pounds for that I've seen similar versions online in a copper uh, luster rather than a gold luster for around 225 pounds so I'm gauging this a little bit higher I would say this is probably worth around 250 but obviously because we've got a lot of wiggle room with that I'd, I'd be open to offers I'd probably pitch it around 250 and take offers on it but it's a des very desirable thing very nicely decorated and that, that's how the gold luster really does appeal so that's a nice thing then we come to this which is a Royal Dalton figure called Dinky Doo and she was made and potted in 1935 so she's quite old although again you look at the footer in there where it's got the registration mark and the bit, bit of age bit of wear on the foot rim which is what you're looking for again it's porcelain it's hand painted it's signed sw by the artist paid eight pounds for it that is 40 quid i've seen them online for 40 quid so we're pitching it around 30 to 40 so as you can find a new home so i'm pleased with that one as well yeah we've got this which i think we talked briefly again on a, on a minute show it was uh, a medina pink and that lava design around the around the middle again we can have a good look at that it's it's quite a nice thing it's a studio glass studio glass company in greece that's uh, going for quite some time quite collectible uh, the the rarer the pattern the more the value but we, i think i paid around eight quid for this as well which uh, isn't too bad because it's a large piece and I'm reckoning it's worth around 30 to 40 pounds. So I'm very pleased with that one as well, which is fantastic. Now, what else have we got? Now, this is a bit unusual, this. This is an early Airfix model. Now, it's HMS Cossack. And what's great about this is, it's I think it's 1950s, doing the research. I've not been able to find an exact model, but there has been uh, auctions online selling similar products but obviously you have to sign in to get the details so I don't really want to do with that so gauging this is it's going to be like a rare thing and it's all about the box as well the box is in fantastic condition and that, that's the thing about this type of product as well if you can find things like this in the box and the box is in great condition it's 50% of the value straight away the collectors want the box as well it's just it's just as important so inside, I've checked the pieces, all the pieces seem to be there. You've also got, let's have a look inside. You see, you've got the instructions. There's the Bezzy set itself. You can just about see it there. And it's got the stickers with it. Still all these little pieces for them to fall out. Right, so there's that. And what's great about it is it's come with this advertising logo for more, for more uh, fixed models. And this which is the instructions so having all, all those and the box itself is as good as it gets now because it's quite rare that right, I've got to gauge it around 50 to 60 pounds we paid 10 so again a bargain and then we move on to these these are sort of these are what they call letter openers and they're uh, handmade hand carved uh, really nice detail very arts and crafts in the look, quite a bit, a little bit of age to them. I really like the design of them. These were three pounds each. Now I reckon, not a massive profit, but ten pounds, ten pounds for that one, and this one's exactly the same, and ten pounds for that one. So for six pounds, it's twenty quid. So it's not too bad that really. Onto this, this little thing. There's there's no age to it whatsoever. 
but what pulled me on this is the price it's one pound fifty so it's a fall and mare enameled on metal and it's a ball plaque but for one pound fifty I think all day long it's probably worth about 20 quid. Somebody that's into the, you know, that loves the horses will buy this to put on the wall. And uh, I've no danger of getting 20 pounds for that, 15 to 20 all day long. So nice profit in that for one pound 50. Also, let's move on to something else. I bought this as well, it's back to pottery again. This is a, a little pottery hand decorated painted a face mask. It's only small, but very decorative. And it comes from America, New Orleans, by Fancy Fancy Faces, New Orleans, 1993, Ethel Corp, Spring, 1993. That's when it was that was when it was made, and it's signed by the artist, which is Pat. So she's repainted it. These this cost again one uh, one pound forty nine. So that is worth twenty pounds all day long. I've seen them online going for twenty pounds. So again, a nice result with that one. Right, we've got these tea caddy spoons. Now, they're all different. I think one's John Wells. The one I've got in my hand at the minute is John Wells, which is great. Which, which is great. So this is John Wells. It's brass, it's a tea caddy spoon. Quite an early one, sort of, I'd say sort of early, early 20th century. Paid two pounds, 12 to 15 pounds that's worth. And likewise with this boy, this is the same, same age, that's a mid sort of uh, sort of early 20th century, sorry. And this one's a bear, which looks like he's climbing a tree. And again, 12 to 15 pounds, highly collectible. Uh, tea caddy spoons, people like them. This one's um, the ancient gate in Wells, which is Tunbridge Wells. So that depicts sort of a famous, a famous part of Tunbridge Wells. Again, 12 to 15 pounds, and we pay two pounds for that. So. And the final one is a thistle, which, you know, relates to Scotland, really. Um, again, £2, again, worth around 12 to £15. And uh, for the old lot, we've paid, what, 8 quid. I'm looking to get around £48 for those, no problem whatsoever. And we're moving on to these. These now are, uh, let me get the piece in front of the mouth, little mustard pot. It's silver plate, but it's got the original glass, blue glass liner, which is a bonus. And it's got the lovely sort of cabriole legs, like we call Queen Anne style legs. Quite nice, in good condition as well. The plate's in good order, which is always important on silver plate items because what you find is the yellow, the yellow because the brass or copper underneath. So it does tend to come through. So you want to find them in good condition. If they're yellowing, it's probably more, more trouble than it's worth because having them replated costs a lot of money. So we've got that, and it's part of a set of three. We've got the the pepper, pepper pot, which again, same design, same legs, part of a set, in really good condition to play it again. Apart from there, it's a little bit yellow there, but it doesn't detract from it too much. And then the salt, which is this, it looks like a little bath, again with the four feet on it. And the original original glass liner. So I paid eight, eight pounds for the set. I'd expect that to sell for around 25, 20 to 25 pounds. The other things I bought are a bit bigger, so just bear with me. I've got these holsters. They're all sort of they're all different. So this one's MO um, MO the future of sanitation robotics. 100% sanitary by BML. It's on a decent quality card. We paid £3 for it. It's worth around £25. And this one, this one here, again, is sort of a sci fi one. And it's Eve from the film uh, Wally, I think. Again, it's the finest what, research robots. Yeah. Uh, BNL as well. Again, the size of BNL, so that's nice. Here comes some of the favourite one, which is this one. This is a, a Disney Pixar one again. This is Beware, Beware of the Dogs, They Bite, uh, Enter at your, your Own Risk, which is great. And it's got a very Art Deco look about it. Again, 
25 pounds. Maybe a bit more. I might go pitch that up a bit higher because it's I think it's pretty desirable. I might go I might go 30 on that, we'll see. But again, three pounds price, can't go wrong. In good condition as well, which is always important, condition is everything. And then this one, which is uh, Wally himself, uh, did some Pixar poster. Again, three pounds. They expect to get around 20 to 25 pounds again for that one. And I think there's one missing somewhere, let's have a look. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this one. Again, this one I really like. It's very Art Deco in its design. And it's called, it says, the new B&L jumpsuit. The only outfit you'll ever need. Quality, neat, comfort and class. Uh, what's that? Features, stretchable fabric. So yeah, dead cool. Look fantastic frame up on the wall uh, and sort of art deco in design not yeah art deco in design again so yeah really really nice find again around 25 30 pounds for that one yeah that's that's pretty much everything so just remember to uh, subscribe and smash a like to Pucker Pickers and this is the after show and I'm Baz Quiddy's not with me at the minute but obviously we'll be out on the road again soon to do another, another episode soon so happy picking you pucking pickers See you again soon.